al-Baghdadi is dead. The leader of the ISIS terror group, for years the world's most wanted fugitive, was killed near the end of a two-hour nighttime raid carried out by U.S. special forces on an armed compound in northwestern Syria. He reached the end of the tunnel as our dogs chased him down. He ignited his vest, killing himself and the three children. He died like a dog. He died like a coward. No U.S. personnel were injured or lost. The commander-in-chief said eight U.S. choppers carried the teams in and out of Syria through stray gunfire and airspace controlled by several countries, friendly and unfriendly, that aided the mission. I want to thank the nations of Russia, Turkey, Syria, and Iraq. And I also want to thank the Syrian Kurds for certain support they were able to give us. The triumphant moment lifted a president facing an impeachment drive and carried echoes of President Obama's announcement in 2011 that al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden had been killed. At the time, and for months afterward, businessman Donald Trump protested, stop congratulating Obama for killing bin Laden. The Navy SEALs killed bin Laden. Mr. Trump's campaign rivals followed that admonition after Sunday's bombshell. Clearly, uh, this is uh, a real uh, blow against ISIS and a positive step in the fight against stateless terrorism. Uh, and credit should go to all who were involved. And I think it's an example of what our special operations and intelligence personnel are capable of around the world. Though he stood in the White House diplomatic reception room flanked by service flags, President Trump handled this news as no other president has or likely would with a prepared statement that lasted under nine minutes and a freewheeling news conference that lasted almost five times as long. Reporting from Capitol Hill, James Rosen, back to you. The longest serving black member of Congress has died. Former Congressman John Conyers died at his home today. He represented Detroit for more than 50 years before his resignation in 2017. Conyers was a founding member of the Congressional Black Caucus. He championed the civil rights movement and pushed liberal legislation throughout his tenure. He was 90 years old. The rain didn't stop runners from taking part in today's Marine Corps Marathon. Thousands of people taking to the streets of Virginia and D.C., all with the same goal in mind, make it to that finish line. One runner we met on the trial, on the trail rather, says she started training just five months after completing cancer treatments. Her next goal, run a marathon in New York City to raise money for cancer patient support groups. And we return now to our special coverage of Game 5. We're less than two hours away from the first pitch, and Nats fans are definitely getting excited, including our own Jonathan Elias, who's getting busy out there. Isn't that right, Jonathan? How's it going out there? Well, well, Carl, you know, you got so much excitement because you got to figure this is the game they got to win. The players know that all too well. They're batting in the last couple games, not so great. Tonight might just be magical. They may just run up the score, have a great time, and go back to having fun. I will say this, all the fans that are coming through the center field gate, and there are thousands of them, when they go inside, the security, there's a couple extra layers now, so it takes a little longer because President Trump will be here. But they do have these tables loaded with these, these red towels. They're going to call those the rally towels. Everybody gets one, so they're not going to run out so this place when you see one of the cutaway shots of everybody in the crowd you're going to see those red towels everywhere and hopefully that will catch the eye of the astros and it'll intimidate them and so their bats will go quiet but in the meantime i will say this it was warm out here when the sun came out after that rain this morning and now it is cooled off to perfect temperatures nobody knows that better than our own chief meteorologist bill bellis who's high above us in the hampton inn just down the way hey bill Hey, it is really, really nice out here. I want to show you. I mean, you, you can kind of see that sky off in the distance to the right. I mean, it's just this beautiful orange hue out there. And so let's talk about some numbers. I want to show you the temperatures because here we are this evening and we're out in short sleeves and it's perfectly fine. And that's our live camera there as you can look across the region. 74 degrees right now in D.C. We got 75 in Chantilly, Gaithersburg into the low 70s as well. 75 in Manassas. Currently right now Martinsburg sitting at 71 degrees. So everybody's still in the 70s even though that sun has gone down. Number but man, look at this. First pitch here. We're going to say probably 66, maybe even just a smidge warmer than that. 64 degrees for the seventh inning stretch at the end of the game. Still sitting into the 60s, probably low 60s, so a little cool, but definitely not cold. No doubt about it. A sweatshirt, and you're going to be just fine. Now, the cold front rolled through. We had all that rainfall this morning, and you folks that ran that Marine Corps Marathon this morning, I'm sorry. I know you trained so hard, 
and you had to deal with all that rain coming down. But tonight, it is a beautiful Sunday evening. We're looking back here live over Nats Park, and more and more people starting to fill on in. And we are looking ahead to some dry weather as we roll into tonight, tomorrow, Tuesday. But our next weather maker, here's what we're going to be tracking. This is for Thursday, and of course, this is Halloween. We have persistent bands of heavy rainfall. We're looking at quite a bit of rain as well, over an inch possible from Thursday into Friday. Temperatures are going to stay in the upper 60s, and we're hoping, we're hoping that we get a lull here, a little bit of a lull for those trick-or-treaters on, uh, on Thursday night. But right now, I would mentally start preparing for some of those rain showers for trick-or-treat time. Uh, it is our next weather maker, and that's what we're going to be watching for you. Uh, in terms of what's going on right now uh, around the area, temperatures again into the 70s. That first pitch going to be sitting at 66 degrees. It's a beautiful evening as we head into the night, 61 as, that, uh, as you're heading on home tonight. So things are going to stay cool tomorrow. We're talking about high temperatures that are up into the, uh, oh, probably 70-degree range.